welcome to my channel. My name is Alexandra. Before we get started, I do want to take a couple of seconds to say thank you so incredibly much for being here with me. Your viewership means so much. And if you like this video or any other video that I've been putting out on my channel, please consider supporting me by leaving a like, a comment, and subscribing. That's the only way that I know that you would like more content, which I am sure to put out every other day. Uh, one thing I do want to say before we get started, which it's currently 12 in the morning. <laughs> for some of you guys, that's pretty late, but for me, we're kind of right on track. <laughs> uh, actually, no, we're early. Well, I'm early because by the time I get around to doing a voiceover when I make these videos, it's around 2. I go to bed like around 3.30 because... I have to give myself an hour and a half of trying to get a simple voiceover out of me. <laughs> um, yeah, between the mistakes and everything, I usually need like about an hour and a half to do a voiceover. And then I go to bed, I wake up, it's lunchtime. And what does that mean? I'm eating a bowl of cereal around lunchtime. I don't know. I don't like that. So today I decided I was going to get on this a little bit quote unquote early. <laughs> um, but yeah, we are in the final part of the let's build series and well at least this let's build series i've grown quite emotionally attached to this build and unfortunately i put it on too small of a lot size because i did want to build a mausoleum on this lot i don't know i just figured that this home is already pushing like the two hundred thousand simoleons it's established it's well established that they're in a different tax bracket that they, they deserve their own family lot uh reserved for like death no <laughs> but how does that work like you have a necron mancy nancy grandmother and yet people still die i don't know i haven't worked out the logistics of that but i thought that that would be super cool having a mausoleum which i don't know i could just load this into another lot and if this is interesting to you to see a mausoleum built i will be more than glad to do that for you like you know make its own separate video of me building a mausoleum and actually maybe instead of because it's only just a mausoleum, instead of making it a speed build, I would make it, you know, sort of like real time. But yeah, here we are working on the secret attic, which is Necromancy Nancy's grand, uh, <laughs> grandma, no, it's her grand lair. I don't know, this is her secret room. Um, I've gotten quite attached to the idea of this necromancer grandmother, and... You know, that being said, I haven't even had her built in cast yet, so I don't know what she looks like, but just the idea of her makes me happy, makes me fond. I love the weird, the kooky, the um, esoteric, I don't, I don't know, look at me being all fancy. <laughs> but this room, because it was so long and rectangular, I didn't know if it was going to work well, at least for me, sort of subdividing a rectangular room is kind of hard, because when you already have a room that has these sort of interesting corners and angles it's that much easier to make it uh interesting but when you have like this sort of like standard rectangular room it's not as easy so everything in the end did take on its own personality and looked really nice so i'm proud of that but here we are oh nope never mind i shifted but i do want to make a comment uh while i was scrolling through debug which most of my footage was scrolling through debug which is why this video is so short because i slashed it all out but i was able to find some things like decanters and glasses which gave it its own personal stylized, not stylized, but its own lived in kind of feel for the home. And I decided to put a decanter plus a couple of cups to sort of make it look like that uh, drawing room had already been lived in or used for entertainment. I don't know. I feel kind of proud of myself. So no, uh, I was thinking that the little grandma who lives here, which would be so funny that like, she's like this dark kind of like goth grandma but yet she's this tiny hunchback woman like how can you find a woman like that intimidating i don't know but i was thinking in my mind that maybe she's had like this sort of lifelong beef or this lineage long beef with vampires maybe like in her like back in the day grandma was a vampire hunter which is why there's like a vampire urn plus all of these like vampire fish and bass in her little medical cabinet because she puts that in her potions and she used it as like i don't know vampire pepper spray I really don't know these are ideas that I'm throwing out there but uh okay one thing I do want to comment on is I know that for the most part I rarely film this video in uh the sims morning time which if that is bothersome to you guys I really do apologize for me it was a lot easier because when I started making the backyard 
It was sort of illuminescent in some ways that I could only tell how nice it would look at night, like in the day, because it was so bright, the sunlight um, or the light source. <laughs> um, look at me talking about The Sims like it's real life. But the light source sort of made things um, obscured and I couldn't tell. Uh, so that's why a lot of this is filmed, quote unquote, at night. But yeah, I found this flat raised bed in the debug catalog which is a shame that in the debug catalog you really can't type in what you're looking for you really have to sort of scroll um you can make it easier if you know where the item is from you can um sort of in that little box uh say that i only want items from this content and you will find it but you really can't just type in like oh mushrooms no uh you have to scroll and i found these mushrooms slash a, a bunch of flowers that were very, very pretty, and I put them in this raised bed that I also found from the debug item menu, catalog item menu, I don't know, but I decided to put all of these super constri constricting, super contrasting flowers, um, I love like the different contrasting colors, and especially having those two mushrooms there, one is bio, not bioluminescent, but it's luminescent at nighttime, you can't see it during the day as much, and it's really pretty. I thought that because you have a family of witches, <laughs> they need all of these different flowers, especially for their potions, for their cauldron, and if you can just imagine it, they come outside, they snip what they need, and overnight it grows back a new one. I don't know, because these aren't real flowers, these are magic flowers. <laughs> but I put down these hedges um, just to kind of make the area, I don't know, look more put together or just kind of like take up that space because I really couldn't think of anything else to put oh no I forgot to put out a uh trash bin <sighs> I feel upset I'm sorry guys <laughs> but I found these rock stones <laughs> I will put one in before um yeah I'm doing this voiceover at 12 in the morning uh it will a trash bin will definitely be included somewhere hidden um, so that it doesn't mess up the aesthetic of this house before it is up on the gallery. But here's what I'm talking about. There are, these are like all these little sprites that come with Realm of Magic that I put out. And I really couldn't tell how nice they would look like during the morning uh, slash daytime. So that's why I kept everything at night. But I made this little rock path that takes you to the center of the place. Rather, I think I should say the center of the garden. But I mixed these large stones. I sized them down. I made them smaller. And then I put these pebbles in between to make the path look more organic and pretty. I also laid down some terrain paint to look like it was stepped on, the, the glass, uh, glass, the grass sort of was a dead. But yeah, so I actually make that sort of mm, circular little hedge area a seating area. I take out that male statue and I put in a little seat. I thought that that would actually be a lot more romantic because I don't know if I included the footage here, but I, re I put in a... Uh, large weeping willow tree that's exactly what it's called a large weeping willow tree and I thought that that was like one of the most romantic super pretty things to have a weeping willow tree and then being able to sit underneath it that was really pretty I do remove some of the sprites from the fountain because really they just needed to be in the trees I actually raised up some of the weeping willow uh, the sprites into the trees to illuminate the tree from the inside and I don't know I think I did something there, but I really don't want to pat myself too much on the back. It's all up to you if you like it. Uh, but we are really close to the end of the video, and I do want to say that I appreciate you guys staying the free, uh, with me for this long. Um, I love your support, and I always do try to put out better content. So, anyway, yeah. Ooh, bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs>